is the key to not or clearing your skin. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Still don't have my hair done. Uh, <laughs> I promise you it's been like four videos, but it's only been two days. Okay, anyways. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, I am the one and only Abby J. And for those of you coming back, okay. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are talking about how to clear your skin today. Disclaimer, I do have on makeup. Another disclaimer, I am no doc. I am no determined. I am no... I am no dermatologist. Yeah. Uh, but I have done years of research on clearing my skin. I have been able to clear my skin. And a lot of people have asked me how I clear my skin because I used to have really bad acne. I'll see if I can find some pictures from middle school. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just here to share everything that's worked for me, everything that I've learned over the years and pretty much be that video that I was always looking for. So, handy dandy iPad. And let us get into the video. First things first, this one is really important and I feel like it's a step that a lot of people skip, but it should never be skipped, is do your research on your skin. Don't just use anything. Don't just use what <clears throat> your friend uses and she seems to have super, super clear skin. Cause super clear, super clear skin could just be her DNA and those products aren't doing anything for her. Do your research for the type of skin you have. I can do a whole nother video on different skin types and stuff like that. If you have oily skin, do your research for products for oily skin. If you have dry skin, do your research for products of dry skin. Like make sure that you're doing your research and for your skin, you, your research, not research that your friend found, not research that your mama found, your research. You Nobody knows your skin like you do. So do your research and don't just put anything on your face. Number two, number two is a little in depth, but start with a regimen. This is important because your body responds to this consistency to the same thing over and over and over. Once your body is getting the same nutrient over and over, it's gonna to start to work. It's obviously gonna start cleaning your face. So starting with a regimen, this is the research that I found on regimens and this is personally the type of regimen I follow. I'm not going into depth of the type of skin I have and the products that I use in this specific video. If you guys would like that, drop it in the comments, but it's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. But with the regimen, <clears throat> first things first on the regimen, you wanna start with an oil cleanser. So the definition of oil cleanser is gonna be right here, but the definition of oil cleanser is oil cleansing is a method that balances oil production, heals acne and melts your makeup right off while nourishing and hydrating your skin, leaving your skin feeling silky and smooth. So an oil cleanser, people use coconut oil, people use olive oil, or I've used a product, like it's called a squabble cleanser, but I've used a specific like oil cleanser, but <clears throat> I mainly use oil cleanser when I have makeup on. It really does melt your makeup off that way when you actually wash your face you're not just moving the makeup around. So right now, that's right now, I'll say it because it's not like I'm promoting anything. I use coconut oil. I use coconut oil when I'm oil cleansing, melts my makeup off, I'm able to wash it off. So especially if you're somebody that wears makeup, if you're not, it's not as important, but especially if you're somebody that wears makeup, you wanna make sure that you are oil cleansing. Number two is a deep cleanser or a double cleanser. It's self-explanatory. Just wash your face again. Um, not with oil, obviously, you use a soap, whether you use um, Dove soap, that's what I use, or some product soap, but make sure that you're using an actual soap that cleans and wash your face. Number two is toner. The definition of that is a toner is designed to cleanse the skin and shrink the appearance of pores usually used on the face. It also moisture, moisturizes, protects, and refreshes the skin. So with a toner, toner is meant to give your skin the same tone, same appearance. So pretty much get rid of discoloration. Toners can be masks, face masks. I mainly use turmeric as a toner. Um, <clears throat> or it can be a like face mask that you find. Honestly, those cheap ones that are in a bag with a sheet, I don't trust those. That's just me, my opinion. I'm no dermatologist. But um, just having something that tones. I find face masks work the best for toners, but there are serums and 
supplements, stuff like that as toners, but making sure that you have a toner in your regimen is very important to be able to have clear skin, skin of the same color I have on makeup, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Number two, face masks. Love face masks. I swear by face masks. I do one every single day. But face mask definition is a good face mask can help draw out any excessive oil and impurities in your skin, which will fight current breakdowns and prevent future ones from coming on. So <clears throat> with, um, think off the top of my head, or not off the top of my head, this is all I use. I use three face masks, not every day, but I rotate between three face masks. Those are the only ones I will ever use on my face. But I use face masks and I don't use the cheap ones in the bag. I don't use just any face mask, beauty face mask that might be in the store. I do ones that actually work. So I either use straight chemical face mask or I use a natural one. But I don't use like store bought with all the extra ingredients because I feel like that's just fluff. It doesn't really do anything. And the ingredient that it has that does fight breakouts and do what it needs to do, there's not enough of it to do anything. So face masks are really important because it just lets the chemicals and the ingredients sit on your face and just work for 10 to 15 minutes and I, that's how long i keep mine on 10 to 15 minutes i don't do any longer any shorter just in between that window and it's work wonders for me um serums and treatments serums are formulated to address specific skin care concerns so your serum <clears throat> what your friend uses isn't going to be what you use what i use isn't going to be what you use they're all different for everybody because everybody has different skincare problems so um you can have serums to fight your breakouts you can have serums to fight your discoloration to fight your dry skin to fight your pimples they're all for different things so normally i'm not gonna say what i use but i use two different things two different serums to fight skincare issues that i've had and that's that um normally it's like droplets or i put it on my hand rub it in do something like that but that's mainly what serums are it's not necessarily a wash it's not necessarily a moisturizer it's just like an ingredient that you put on your face as a treatment but serums stay they you let them soak into your skin let them work you don't wash them off most nine times out of ten you don't wash them off having a moisturizer definition is something or maintaining a hydrated skin barrier without adding excessive oil um finding a good moisturizer can be difficult because you want to make sure that you find a moisturizer that doesn't leave your skin too oily but also doesn't i think the sun's just leaving period but but also doesn't leave your skin dry feeling like you don't have anything on your face or making your skin feel clammy like you want to find the perfect moisturizer for you whether it's just lotion like i used to use cetaphil because i have ac um not acne i have eczema so Cetaphil was what I use on my skin and I use that on my face for a very long time but also your skin does adjust to products so you want to make sure that every now and then you switch it up I don't mean like every other week I mean like maybe every three months switch up moisturizer product okay like the sun's just gone <laughs> whatever you use and make sure that it's the right moisturizer for your skin like you'll be able to tell the perfect moisturizer because it'll just feel great on your skin it'll feel so lightweight <laughs> your skin will get way more <clears throat> so find a good moisturizer that works for you now just six more tips that just are tips in general this isn't that's the regimen that i did now these are just tips and i'm not going to do none of the basic tips no, these are actually tips that have helped me. Granted, drinking your water and washing your face, yes, but into depth, like actual tips that you can do. Um, most expensive isn't always the most effective. Don't go buy into um or a skincare product because it's fifty dollars. Because I my whole skin routine, each product is under five dollars, and it's the best thing that has worked for me. And I've been fighting my acne since middle school, and I am. Now a high school graduate, baby. So yeah, most expensive isn't always the most effective and it's gonna save you a lot of money if you're not always buying the most expensive thing. Read the products. That's the one thing that I didn't do when I was younger because I was just like, oh, it said this in big words. Go to the back, read the products. Because when you do your research, you're gonna know what products you specifically That's need right to clear your problems that you have on your face read the products and look for what it has. If it just has water and then a whole lot of blah, 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 and you don't see the product, but on the on the, um, <clears throat> on the the front in big letters, it says, but it's $50, 
don't buy that because it doesn't have the product that you need. Just because it's expensive and it's cute on the outside and it's aesthetically pleasing does not mean that it is the most effective product. So read. Um, straight chemicals or straight natural, no in between. And this is another thing. A lot of chemical or not a lot of chemicals, a lot of products that they sell in stores on the shelves is just fluff. It's literally straight fluff. It does not do anything. It has water, it's water, which means it's a water-based product. Water is always the first ingredient. But then it has a whole bunch of stuff that you've never heard of. And it's like, what is this? Like, I, you've never heard of it, but it says fights break out. It says clear acne in the front and it's blue and blue is your favorite color. So you get it. Straight chemicals or straight natural, no in between. By straight natural, I mean aloe vera plants, turmeric using honey, using lemon juice, straight natural or straight chemicals, straight niacinamide, straight hyaluronic acid, straight AHA, but straight chemicals or straight natural. None of that fluff. It shouldn't have all them extra. When you're using something that's natural, obviously it doesn't have ingredients because that's what it is. When you're using something that's a chemical, it's going to have only a chemical because you can't mix chemicals. So you know that is what you are getting. Make sure what you are buying and what you are getting is what you are getting. Period period you don't want to make sure you don't want it to be like just anything <clears throat> the next one is minimal masks um personal opinion i do not like those bag masks at all but a lot of people they'll use one mask today and they'll find one in the store get another one get another one get one and keep picking 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 i find or i found that choosing a few masks and sticking with them take you a very very long way with your skincare i use three masks and that has worked wonders for me so just choosing a few masks and sticking to those masks will take you a long way and it will save you a lot of money honestly the few masks that i use one of them is five dollars the other one is free because it's natural product and then the other one is 15 dollars. it's kind of expensive but it's in a big container it takes me fog so i use those three masks it saves me a lot of money because those bass mat bag sheet masks the good ones none of them are good but the good ones are about five dollars a mask that's kind of expensive if you're constantly buying one you need a new one every time you do too much so minimal masks will take you a long way <clears throat> using a chemical exfoliant okay the reason why I didn't put, you should exfoliate in your regimen, but the reason why I didn't put it there is because I exfoliate, like I put that with, with in my masks. So I use a chemical exfoliant as a mask. I find this to work the best. So when I exfoliate, most people say, oh, use a brush, use a brush that has an exfoliant, use um, their, um, they have like soaps with little beads in them. Use that, that exfoliates, use ones with sugar in it. That does nothing. Or personally for me, that did absolutely nothing or i can tell the difference between when i did that and when i use it a chemical exfoliant i use aha bha to chemically exfoliate i swear by that mask i always post it on my instagram i swear by that mask chemical exfoliants are it that mask works wonders for me love it um okay now these seem a little basic but they're not basic like at all because I have found that these, these two are the key. Um, I'll say the best for last. So first one is changing your pillows. Baby, whether you flip it over or whatever the case may be, changing your pillows because you can do your entire regimen at night, put your face mask as fully, your skin can feel as refreshed as it's ever been. If you're putting your face on the same pillow that you just slept on last night and it has all the oils that your body produced at night and all the dirt, you just clog your pores. Change your pillows. That way it's a clean slate. Every I'm not saying every single night, but once a week you should at least be changing your pillows and give your, your face a clean slate, clean slate so that you're not clogging your pores and all the hard work that you did with the regimen isn't just for granted. And last but not least, this is I'm waiting! This is a work of art. But this is the key to not, or clearing your skin. And it sounds so basic. I know it sounds, it's gonna sound like, girl, duh. But when you actually put an effort to stop doing this, and you, like when you actually try to stop doing it, and you're like, okay, I don't need to do this, you'll realize how much you do it. Stop touching your face. Stop touching your face. Oh my gosh, I used to, I don't think we realize we do it, but 
especially in class, will lean like this, it will lean like this, it will lean like this, it will lean like this. And you'll realize that's where you get acne. You'll get acne right here. You'll get acne right there. But when you go like that, you'll get acne right here. I struggle with that because when I fall asleep in class, you know, I'll back class when I'm woke. I sleep like that. So I struggle with breakouts there. But that is where you're breaking out. And it's because you're touching your face. Your face touches a million and one things a day. Why are you putting that in your pores? You're obviously going to break out. When I first made an effort, it was probably sophomore year, when I first made an effort to clear my skin, or not clear my skin, but to stop touching my face, no more breakouts in those areas. And I was like, why am I not breaking out anymore? And I was like, I don't touch my face. Stop touching your face. I'm telling you, it makes a ginormous difference. Like, I literally cannot stress it enough unless you actually do it and you'll realize. Touching your face makes the biggest difference in the world. Like, literally just stop doing it. And you see a lot of times, I don't, like, when I do stuff, like, to my face, I don't touch it in my videos. I don't touch my face throughout the day, like, at all. You'll realize how much you touch your face and you'll be like, why? Why are you touching your face? Like, or why are you touching your face? But that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope it was super, super helpful. Drop in the comments below any other tips that you have that has helped you clear your skin. But that concludes our video for today. You guys already know the deal. If you got time for one, you got time for a ton. So go ahead and watch another video on this channel. And until next time. Uh